fantasy football leagues. This is your chance. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the description. Find my email. Send me your email. Or, yeah, yeah email me. <laughs> Tell me you're in. And I will add you to one of our 12-team leagues. Uh, they should be fun. They're just for fun. No, no money. <laughs> just bragging rights. All right. So if you want to get in on that, I got two leagues, a couple of slots for either of them uh, are open. So join. But I need to prepare. So I will do a mock draft. I am on the clock. I was able to secure the number one pick. <laughs> just to see. Just to see what it would be like this year to have that top pick. Um, Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase, who am I taking? Who should I take? <laughs> uh, we are on the clock. And I, I think that the, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So I'm going to go Justin Jefferson. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter who it is. It don't matter. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll take Jefferson there. Chase would be a good pick, too. Um, oh, McCaffrey actually went uh, second there. That's not a bad pick, either. But, yeah, some interesting guys this year. I, I feel weird about some of these guys, like Eckler. Henry's getting a little older. Cooper Cup injuries, but he's going to be ready week one. Tyreek Hill, will he be as good as last year? Then you got Bichon. I think Bichon's going to be good, but I can't believe he's number 10 on the board. Adams, he'll have Jimmy G. It should be good. Barkley, he could get injured. I, I just think, I, I feel like some other years, uh, the top like eight guys or something will just be like set. But this year, I don't know. Or not top eight, but like top five. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like it just, there's less like question marks. Uh, other years this year, I feel like there's, there's too many question marks with some guys in the first two rounds here. Um, maybe that just speaks to the league in general. I don't know. Running backs. Running backs can't even get contracts. Wide receivers are getting contracts that are way too big. I don't know. It's just, uh, I, somebody out there has to agree with me like I feel like this year like I said like maybe Justin Jefferson Chase and McCaffrey are like the solid top three but then after that I mean I I, I feel like these guys could all go in any order here um, but we got 24 and 25 uh, looking at the guys in those spots um, uh, we got T. Higgins Alave Mahomes is here and, and Josh Allen and Hurts Mixon is Mixon getting suspended? I don't even know. ETN's here. Um, I, I feel like this is a good pick. Just snag Mahomes. Nice second round pick. Um, but my other one, my third pick here could go. I want to get a running back. I don't want any garbage running backs as my number ones. But uh, I'm hoping I could get Mahomes and then either Mixon or uh, maybe Aaron Jones. But that's tough. I don't know if he'll be as good. Uh, without Rogers, but we hear good things about Jordan Love. He looks all right. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what's up when we get there. But yeah, I, I'd hope to get Mahomes and I mean maybe Debo if he's on the board. But still three picks ahead of me. Never mind. Maybe 
I'm thinking of somebody else, but we'll go Joe Mixon. Uh, maybe Najee Harris would be a good pick there. We had a couple guys available for sure. Um, but good start out. We got our QB, top receiver, top running back. And now we're going to just fill in the rest of the spots. I kind of like how this worked out. You know, sometimes I feel like a lot of years I get stuck. There's like a bunch of receivers just right there on the board or a bunch of running backs for me to just grab. And um, But it, it does feel kind of nice already to just be like, all right, got my QB, got the best QB, uh, got a solid running back, and got a top receiver. Uh, this is a pretty good team right here. Um, but we got this, once again, another big stretch, a big break here where we won't be picking. Um, and I don't even know what it's... Should be uh, eight more after this, so I'm going to be picking like 48, 50. So we're coming down here. These are the types of guys that might be available. Um, I think a lot of people in this third round here, Josh Allen goes, they're going to be going QB. So I think some of these QBs will take up some spots. But we're going to get down here. I mean, maybe Brees Hall will be there. Maybe Kenneth Walker. I doubt it. Ugh. Um. Oh, Kamara's the suspended one. Kamara, yeah. I, uh, I, why was I thinking he was Mixon? I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I thought Mixon was in trouble, but whatever. Um, it's, yeah, it's Kamara. Um, I mean, we got Mike Evans down here. Terry McLaurin's down here. Hopkins, not a bad two. In terms of running backs, um, a little worried. I'm a little worried. Maybe Miles Sanders. Yeah, and Brees Hall are kind of the, the looks. I mean, Kenneth Walker, if he can fall to there, I'd be very happy about that. But I don't know if he will. Uh, we'll be able to see in a second uh, which pick I'll be, but it should be like 48, 49, I think. Or like 49, 50. I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, also, Madison's here. But, like, uh, I don't know how good is he going to be. No more Dalvin Cook. He was always such a good fill-in. I mean, maybe he'll be like Tony Pollard, just... Just kind of been that backup guy for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden he starts, and he's just a just a beast. Um, yeah, I mean James Conner, ugh, that'd be. I I don't want to take him. I really don't, but we might we might have to cause receiver running back receiver running back would be perfect here. That's what I'm going for, and then the next round I can do receiver running back, perfect for the flex spot. So we're in a good spot here. I really like where we're at. Um, all right, there we are. So, yeah, 48, 49, like I said. I was hoping there would be some more auto picks by now, but not yet. <laughs> and I got a beginner one. Maybe that's... Maybe that's part of the problem with all these weird picks. All right, Kenneth Walker, Ramondre Stevenson, they're all gone. So just like that, yep. I wonder where Ezekiel Elliott's going to show up uh, for the Pats. That'll be interesting to see where he lands. So yeah, we're looking good. We got some good receivers here. Still on the board. And good running backs. I really think... I think Sanders... Maybe Matt... Ugh, this is tough. Alright, on the board. Brees is there. 
but with Dalvin Cook, I just, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I think Sanders is a good one. But maybe Madison, just because, oh, man, I'm looking at Madison here. Oh, Madison. And Terry McLaurin. Boom. Yeah, this is, this is going way too well. <laughs> These guys are probably all going to bust. <laughs> but this is, I, I like this team. This is a good team. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're on beginner, but I don't know. It's not like these guys were all available. I mean, it's not like, I don't know. I don't know what to think, but more people on auto pick. It's always good. Get this thing going a little quicker. But at this point, we just need that flex spot and just some solid bench guys. Uh, we're going to be picking, what, 60, 68? Or wait, no, uh, was, uh, pick 70 will be like pick 70, I think. Something like that. Let's take a look. So, we'll look at like 65 and above here. We could have... Uh, Decent receivers. Ayuk, London. Oh, I'd love to have London as a third receiver. That'd be way too good. Kyle Pitts at tight end. Go Goddard. Snag a, snag a tight end as well. And no, there's Dalvin Cook. That's interesting. I mean, Javante, not a terrible pick. Brandon Cooks, that's an interesting one. Probably not. Not. A flex guy, maybe a bench guy. You want a bench guy, but... Cortland Sutton. Didn't he get injured last year? At least he's playing this year. Jackson is injured. Jackson is... Uh, I believe he had surgery or something. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Questionable. <laughs> uh, Dotson. Dotson's one I'm looking at. Addison could be an interesting one. Michael Thomas, I don't know. It feels like he hasn't played in 10 years, but interesting choice there. Juju, just because he's number one. Interesting choice. Antonio Gibson. I feel like he's always good, but then he just gets benched. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know what to think with him. Probably not worthy of a starting spot. But, yeah, 72 and 73. Okay. Okay. Um, there's Elliot, there's Zeke, there he is, Jalen Warren, then get to the defenses, so yeah, this is, this is interesting, then these are all this, the, the bench guys, yep, so, back to the top here, we'll see, we are five picks away, Drake London, he's, he's gonna be gone, probably, all these uh, top receivers, or not top receivers, but Hopkins, Evans, Deontay, all would have been good picks coming up, but they're all gone. I mean, it wouldn't be wouldn't be wild to go for a tight end here. I mean, especially if we could get Kittle, Pitts, or Goddard. I mean, it's really not bad. The next tier is like Fryermuth. Ingram joke. I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to hold on a tight end. I don't want to. I don't really want to take one. <laughs> oh, a couple of them just went anyways. So yeah, there goes Kittle and Pitts. So I'm on the clock. Uh, Drake London, right here. Wow. Um, so we go London. I think he's. Oh man, I think he's gonna be. You're going to want him as a, a one or two receiver, but if I can get him as my flex, that's crazy. I think he's going to have a good year. Goddard's there. Uh, I just, I don't want it. I don't like it. Um, I just, I want to see Dalvin Cook or Javante. I feel like Cook still has a little bit left in him, and the Jets are stacked. I think they'll be able to use him just well enough, uh, and he's our first bench guy, so I really don't think it's... Uh, it's that crazy. Our next pick here is going to be, like, what, 90, 98? 
90, 94, 96, I don't know, something like that. Um, but now we might want to look, that's the thing, I don't even want to look tight end. I want to go two more bench guys. Is somebody like Robinson or DeAndre Smith, or Swift, sorry, not Smith, if one of them is on the board. I, I, I almost, I kind of want them, but I don't think they will be. Montgomery's gone. There goes Goddard. Yep, Javante went in. Yeah, so no surprise. But, man, if all oh, Swift, I would love to get Swift. I really would. That'd be sick. If we get... Because yeah, he's, I don't know. He's, I think he's good. Swift and Dotson, if they're, either of them are available. Getting them both. Or Addison. So I got three guys I'm looking at. And then... Yeah, so 98, 96. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I'm looking at... Oh, there goes Swift. That's all right, that's all right. No big deal, no big deal. There goes Herbert. All right, so we're seven picks away. Ugh, Robinson, I don't think he's going to be there, but we'll see. I'd love to get Dodson. Dodson or Addison. Maybe both. Maybe both. And then maybe... Oh, there goes Brian Robinson. Yep, okay, so we're looking... Here's what we're looking at. We're looking at Dodson and Addison as our two picks here. And then the next time around, we'll probably go tight end defense. Possibly. Uh, that'll be round 10 and 11. I think that's not too bad, especially if I have, if I have, uh, so I got three running backs, three receivers. If I have like three running backs, five receivers, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. All right, here we are. So, yep, we're going to be able to go with Dotson and go Dotson and Addison here. Even say Flowers wouldn't be a bad pick. Um, yeah. I, I like this. This is going to work out pretty well. Where did Addison go? There he is. Boom. Yeah. I like it. I like it. This team is stacked. They're too stacked. It's not right. <laughs> Everybody, look at the, look at all these guys I got. Week 14, week 13 buys. That ain't good. And I, oh, wait. I didn't think about this, but I got Addison and Jefferson and Madison. Yeah, we'll do, we'll focus a little better next time. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I hate myself now. <laughs> Maybe go save Flowers instead of uh, Addison. I don't mind Madison and Jefferson. I don't mind that, but instead of Addison probably go save flowers just to just to keep it spread out i don't know though that's the thing like what do you guys think what do you guys think we are what 20 something minutes into this video i don't know how long but if you're at this point like what do you, what do you do say you, you like certain guys but there's three of them from the same team you get them all do you get them all especially like the vikings could be they're another they're they're good offensive team <laughs> They're going to be putting up points. Is it worth it to take three guys from the same team? Because, like, say you're, like, you try to avoid this and you take other guys just to spread it out. It's, like, you're betting that the, the it's all going to be. Like, what if you don't get Addison or Madison and Jefferson? A lot of sons. Um, <laughs> but, like, say you just don't get them and then the Vikings high-powered offense, everybody's scoring, everybody's getting points all year long. Like, what do you do? Do you really try to avoid teammates? Now, I do think instead of I, the Addison pick, maybe go save Flowers instead. Maybe go Juju just because he's at number one. I don't know. Um, but, but, like, what, seriously, what's wrong? Madison and Jefferson, I mean, if, if they're putting up points, what matter? It doesn't, it doesn't matter <laughs> if we're on the same team, you know? 
like I, I, I've been looking at the board. I've been going for the best guys available that I want. All right, I'm fresh off a championship for my one league. <laughs> so I'm trying to build that same team. I might have to get three guys on the same team. Okay, you know what? I have a serious problem. McLaurin and Dotson. I just... I... I ruined it. I ruined this draft. This felt like such a good draft. <laughs> Dotson and McLaurin. Oh, man. This is interesting. I think this team's stacked, though. <laughs> I just don't know who's throwing to those two. The Vikings thing is good, but the thing is, Dotson and McLaurin, they're both so good. I think McLaurin has a chance to have, like, a down year, but Dotson, I'm telling you, Dotson's going off. Dotson's going off for real. I'm not I'm not joking. All right, I'm almost up here. Um, I am up. Here we go. So, we're looking tight end. We can go Ertz. I don't really want any of these receivers. Kincaid, take the risk. Go for Kincaid. Maybe Higby's a little more established. We'll call Higby. Won't be so risky. And then, honestly, I'm going to go get a defense here. I'm going to be that guy. Steelers D, that could be a good one. Yep. Boom. Yeah, I mean, this is 12. This is round, round 11. This is not bad. Like, who else am I going to get? I mean, look at these positions. Who else? Who do I really want from this? Nobody. So we go defense, go Steelers D. Should be good. Should be a good pick. So, boom. Oh, it actually says I'm on the clock in 20 picks. So this whole time I've been, like, doing mental math. You know what? This hasn't been my finest episode. It has not been my finest episode. That's okay. Forty-four. We are coming up. Let's take a look. All right, so we have Algier. Wouldn't be a terrible one. Um, man, he's gone. Never mind. Um, most hurt. Oh boy, this is just uh. Maybe, maybe I should have waited one more round <laughs> for the uh, the defense and maybe even tight end. Just completely hold off on the tight end. Higby is definitely nobody to go crazy over. All right, on the clock. All right, jeez, this is brutal. McKinnon. Maybe go Mostert. I don't know. This is brutal. This is brutal. Damien Harris. 
Why not? Back to our pick here. A lot of uh, a lot of kickers for the auto draft here. Maybe I should go kicker. <laughs> you can go kicker and then like a, a risky player. I mean Rashad Bateman. I don't. I don't want to go for him in year two. Um, It's on the clock. Uh, yeah, there are certainly options. Who do I do? Mingo? Claypool? Boom. <laughs> Wait on the kicker. <laughs> left here. It's all they want me to take. Episode of the Fantasy Football Mock Draft. <laughs>